In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you how to make it look as though you're projecting an image on the side of a building or any other flat surface. This comes as a request from more than my subscribers. So what we're going to do is take this image, you could use a video as well, of the JFK Memorial and drag and put it on track number one. Then I'm going to increase the duration of it. One thing I notice instantly is the image is not the same proportions as my project. The simplest way to fix that problem when you're working with a still image is to click on the crop tool on the left above the timeline. That will allow you to resize or move the area that's on the screen. And I'll just slide this up a little bit and we'll have a pretty good picture. I'll click on OK and it will create a secondary image. Here this has the parenthesis 4. It's the fourth time I've done this with this image. And that is my new background. So it fits perfectly with the proportions of my project. Now the next thing I want to do is put my movie and we'll have it look like it's being projected on the blue glass in the center of the video. I'll drag that down and drop that on track number two. I'm going to double click on it and that will get me into my designer window. And we're going to immediately begin to shrink it. I'm going to take any of the four corners and drag it in, make it smaller so it will fit on top of the glass. Now one thing I like to do when I'm working in this kind of a situation is enlarge it. So we'll click on our magnifying glass at the upper right corner and we'll increase the size of our preview screen. The next thing I want to do is decide where I want the image to be. I, I need to pick a two of the corners. I'll take the upper left corner and you can use your arrow keys on the keyboard to be a little more precise. And then I'm going to angle it. To do that, I'm going to click in even farther so you can see what our controls look like. And you notice I have the ball at each corner and then the middle of each side. But on the corners, I also have a little blue icon. And if I move the mouse just right, the it moves into an arrow with a small four-headed arrow. That's where I can begin to change the look and feel of it so it's not purely rectangular anymore. We'll try to make it look like it's on the wall. So I've done the upper right corner. Now I have to do the same with the lower left corner. And then I'm going to take my arrow keys and move the whole image in just a little bit. Now it looks like it's being projected on the screen. But there's something else that's going wrong here. It's, it, it's too good of an image. When you project an image, you lose resolution. So I'm going to take the opacity value of the image in the lower left side and drag that down from 100% to about 80%. And now it looks a little more like a truly projected image. Then I'll click on OK. There's one other thing I want to change about it before we look at it. And I want to make it look a, even a little less perfect. So I'm going to go to my effect room. And I have one called noise. These are alphabetical by name. I'll take the noise and drag and drop that on top of the video. And so when I look at this playing on the screen, and we'll give you a full screen in a moment, it will look a little more realistic than it did before. But that's a simple way in which you can use some very effective tools in CyberLink PowerDirector to accomplish this particular task. We'll give you a few seconds of a full screen shot at this video. And that's it for today.